Happy New Year. This is Chip Eichelberger. I hope your year has started off strong. I wanted to give you something to think about. Personal accountability, obviously, is essential. And I want to ask you a question. How good a shape are you in right now? What's the state of your health? What's the state of your vitality? Maybe this video will be a catalyst for you. Last year, I had a lady come up to me and she said, Chip, what was the catalyst for her was she had an insurance policy that she was getting. And when you get an insurance policy, you have to get a blood test. And she got the blood test results back and she was rated, meaning that she was nowhere near the shape she thought she was going to be in and her insurance rates were much higher. I just got a new insurance policy in December too, and I've got the results of the blood test right here. And I got to say, I'm proud of those results. Everything is well within the norm was watching one of my heroes. Uh, if you're a golfer, you probably know the big three, Arnold Palmer, who just passed away, Jack Nicklaus, and Gary Player. And Gary Player is 80 years old, has been committed to fitness his entire life. He's bring, been drinking a green base smoothie drink with his wife, a juice actually, every day for 30 plus 40 years. And he is in fantastic shape. If you look at Jack right now, uh, obviously not in that good of shape. Arnie obviously wasn't either. The main reason was I don't think they dedicated their life to that like Gary has. And so one thing I want you to think about today is lifespan is a common term. People think about how long are you going to live. I want you to think about health span. How long are you going to be healthy? Because I don't know about you, my goal, I'm going for 100 years old. I want to make it to 100. I want to make it to 80, 90 years old like Gary Player, for example. He'll reach 100, I believe, and he's going to be playing golf and he's going to be walking. We probably know people like that that are 80, 90 years old, great shape, mentally sharp, taking good care of themselves. And we know people who are 52 and old and decrepit. If you're not taking care of yourself, now's the time to step up. I want you to think about that. Because when you're young, you don't know that much. You don't really know what to do. But as time goes by, you learn more. But as time goes by, you have less time. And there's kind of this intersection of how much knowledge you have and how much time you have left. And there comes a point when you got to act before it's too late. You got to be thinking about that. I mean, for example, in our economy, I think what's the biggest drain in the economy is probably unhealthy people, people not taking care of themselves. When I was with Tony Robbins those years, he, one of the things we used to talk about was 76% of the diseases out there are totally preventable. So you could think about it now. Are you stepping up right now? Are you doing the little things each day? How are your disciplines in terms of eating less, cutting down on sugar, cutting out soda, quitting smoking, quitting other vices, not doing the things you don't you know you don't need to do, okay? We all know what those are. Are you taking the time to get the green juice, to bring the cooler to work, to make sure you got good quality food, and getting a little simple exercise, doing your push-ups. If you've seen me speak, you talk about the streak starts with one, right? That's a key premise for you. I've done over 50,000 push-ups the last couple years, and it's really served me well. So are you taking the time right now to do those little things every day? Because those disciplines that you do every day, you'll be rewarded for in the future. Or are you saying, you know what, Chip, I'm busy. I'm not taking the time. I know I need to right now. I'm not in the shape I need to, but there's really no ramifications. One day I'm going to get around to taking care of myself. Well, what's probably going to happen is maybe 50, 55, 60 or earlier, you're going to wake up with the disease you could have avoided. And that disease is going to take now massive amounts of your time, massive amounts of stress, massive amounts of money likely to reverse something you probably could have avoided. So it's probably something you need to act on right now. Uh, in this blog post, what I'm going to have is a couple things for you. There's going to be that get switched on energy schedule that goes in the mirror in your bathroom. It's early January. Now's the time to come up with the minimum number of days you're going to exercise. Get your heart rate up. Get a sweat and start tracking that. Make a commitment in the sand. This is the minimum number I'm going to do. I can do above that, but I'm going to do I'm not going to do less than that. Sign it, make a commitment, track that for the next six months. Um, I recommend a Fitbit. This is the old fashioned Fitbit. As long as it works, I'm going to go for it. You need to do something, whether it's with your iPhone or other software, you need to track your movement. Long term quality of life is going to be quality of your movement. Also, there's going to be a link to the Get Switched On smoothie recipe. If you're not drinking something like that, I think it would make a big difference in your quality of your life. After I saw the movie, and I've recommended it on stage, if you haven't seen it, go to Netflix. Joe Cross is fat, sick, and nearly dead. Documentary about a guy that was 100 pounds overweight, did something drastic, said no solid food for 60 days. What was the result? Well, it worked for him, lost 90 pounds in 60 days, and was cured, cured himself of a horrible skin disease. So I'm going to leave you with this. It's, it's a quote from my mentor. If you're not familiar with him, Jim Rohn, J-I-M-R-O-H-N. 
he was Tony Robbins' mentor. Tony started with Jim, and I've listened to him countless hours the last 25 years. He passed away, I can't believe it, it's been five years. And he said, we're gonna live with one of two regrets. And he said, the pain of discipline or the pain of those airs every day. And the challenge is, is that the pain of regret weighs tons and the pain of discipline weighs ounces. It's just a little bit. So take a second, personal accountability. I recommend go get a blood test somewhere. What's your standing heart rate? What's your cholesterol level? What's your blood pressure? What are your triglycerides? What are the key things? I mean, this is a three page lab report. You can catch something right now that might save your life, might make a big difference in your quality of life. So step up, personal accountability. If you haven't done it yet, download that Get Switched On Energy Schedule. Put it up in the mirror in your bathroom. I've been doing that for 23 years now, and I gotta tell you, it works. Leave your comments below if I can help you in any way. Chip at getswitchedon.com. Look forward to talking with you. Have a great year.